What if I told you that your thoughts, decisions, and even the very fabric of your consciousness could be influenced by the bizarre and elusive principles of quantum mechanics? This isn't a plot from a sci-fi movie or the ramblings of a conspiracy theorist. It's a hypothesis that's been debated in the scientific community for decades, and new research is bringing it back into the spotlight. Brace yourselves, because today, we're diving into one of the most perplexing and spine-chilling ideas about the human brain, how quantum effects might govern our very consciousness. Let's start with Sir Roger Penrose, one of the most celebrated physicists of our time, who also happens to have what some call a crazy theory about consciousness. Penrose argues that our brain doesn't function like a classical computer that follows algorithms. Instead, he suggests that consciousness might stem from quantum processes. Wait! Quantum mechanics, the same field that gave us Schrodinger's cat, particles being in two places at once, and the concept of entanglement. Exactly, Penrose's theory is based on something called Gödel's incompleteness theorem. This theorem proves that no logical system, no matter how advanced, can prove every true statement. Penrose claims that our ability to know things transcends pure computation. In other words, human consciousness cannot be reduced to lines of code like a computer program. It's a bold claim, one that has drawn criticism from scientists worldwide. Many dismissed it, arguing that quantum effects simply couldn't exist in the brain's warm, messy environment. But Penrose stuck to his guns, and in recent years, studies have emerged that just might prove him right. Why quantum mechanics? To understand Penrose's claim, let's look at quantum mechanics itself. At its core, quantum mechanics governs the behavior of subatomic particles, which don't follow the neat rules of the everyday world. For example, particles can exist in multiple states simultaneously, a phenomenon called superposition. They can become entangled, meaning two particles remain mysteriously connected, no matter how far apart they are. In measurement, a seemingly simple act can collapse this superposition, forcing a particle to pick one state over another. Penrose suggests that our brain might be harnessing these weird properties. But here's the catch. Quantum states are fragile. They require pristine, near-absolute zero conditions to exist. In the human brain, it's warm, squishy, and chaotic. So how on earth could quantum effects survive in such an environment? Here's where Stuart Hameroff, an anesthesiologist with a deep curiosity for consciousness, enters the picture. In the 1990s, Hameroff read Penrose's book The Emperor's New Mind and had an epiphany. He suggested that tiny structures in brain cells called microtubules might be the answer. Microtubules are like the scaffolding of cells, providing structure and helping with tasks like transporting proteins. They're particularly abundant and uniquely structured in neurons, the cells that make up your brain. Hameroff proposed that microtubules could act as quantum computers within the brain, storing and processing information in ways far beyond classical physics. To put it simply, microtubules might be where quantum mechanics and consciousness collide. For years, Hameroff's ideas were dismissed as speculative at best. But then, something extraordinary happened. In 2013, researchers found evidence that microtubules exhibit large-scale quantum resonance. Essentially, they discovered that these tiny structures can maintain quantum coherence, an essential ingredient for quantum computation, much longer than previously thought. And just recently, a groundbreaking paper added weight to this theory. Scientists observed a phenomenon called superradiance in microtubules. Superradiance involves the synchronized emission of photons by a group of molecules. This suggests that microtubules might indeed support quantum processes in a way that's not only possible but biologically plausible. So, could microtubules be the key to understanding consciousness? The orchestrated objective reduction theory. Penrose and Hameroff joined forces to develop a theory called orchestrated objective reduction, or ORC-OR for short. The idea is simple yet profound. Quantum computations occur in microtubules, 
and when these quantum states collapse, they create moments of conscious awareness. In other words, your thoughts, emotions, and sense of self might arise from countless quantum events happening in your brain every second. But it doesn't stop there. Penrose has a theory for why these quantum states collapse in the first place. He calls it objective reduction, suggesting that the collapse occurs when quantum superpositions reach a threshold related to space-time geometry. It's as if the very fabric of the universe is tied to your conscious experience. Of course, not everyone is convinced. Critics argue that Penrose's theory relies too heavily on quantum mechanics as a catch-all explanation for consciousness. After all, we don't fully understand quantum mechanics itself, so using it to explain something as complex as the human mind feels, ambitious. Others point out that quantum computation, even if it exists in microtubules, doesn't necessarily explain higher-level thought processes or emotions. And let's not forget the ever-present, warm and gooey brain, problem, how can quantum effects persist in such a chaotic environment? But here's the thing, science thrives on bold ideas. Penrose's theory might seem far-fetched, but it's opening doors to questions we never even thought to ask. Now, let's take a moment to appreciate the bigger picture. If consciousness truly has a quantum basis, what does that mean for our understanding of reality? For one, it blurs the line between the observer and the observed. Quantum mechanics already suggests that measurement collapses a wave function, forcing a particle to pick a definite state. If our consciousness is part of this process, then it's not just observing reality, it's shaping it. Think about it, if your thoughts influence quantum events, could they, in some small way, influence the universe itself? This idea might sound like science fiction, but it's rooted in legitimate scientific inquiry. While the quantum brain hypothesis remains speculative, it's inspiring research in fields like artificial intelligence, neuroscience, and even medicine. For example, quantum-inspired algorithms could help us create more advanced AI systems. Understanding microtubule behavior might lead to breakthroughs in treating neurological disorders like Alzheimer's. And if quantum mechanics plays a role in consciousness, it could revolutionize fields like philosophy and ethics. The possibilities are as vast as they are exciting. The mind-bending truth. So, what's the takeaway here? Are we quantum beings living in a quantum world? The jury's still out. Penrose's theory might be right, partially right, are completely wrong. But it's forcing us to rethink what it means to be conscious, to be human, and to exist in this strange, mysterious universe. And honestly, isn't that the beauty of science? It's not about having all the answers, it's about asking the right questions. So the next time you have a thought that feels almost too profound, just remember, it might be the result of quantum processes happening inside your brain. And if that doesn't blow your mind, I don't know what will. The human brain is often called the most complex object in the known universe, and theories like Penrose's remind us just how little we truly understand it. Whether or not quantum mechanics holds the key to consciousness, one thing is certain, the pursuit of knowledge will always keep us curious, questioning, and a little bit in awe of the cosmos. So, if you enjoyed this journey through the cosmos, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share this video with fellow space enthusiasts. Your support helps us continue exploring the wonders of the universe. Be sure to subscribe to Spacified and hit that bell icon so you never miss an update on our latest discoveries. Dive deeper into the mysteries of space by checking out our other videos. Until next time, stay curious, and keep questioning reality.